Oh, hey, we're here back. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. We're back. Here. We're here with Audrey from the Blue Mountain Clinic, and she is here to tell us all about her youth advisory board. And so, um, what can you tell us first off about the Blue Mountain Clinic? Yeah, so um, Blue Mountain Clinic uh, has been sort of a Missoula staple um, for, oh my gosh, I should know this. Uh, it's been a long time. A long time, yeah, since the 70s. Um, we've been in our current building um, for almost, I shouldn't be doing this. Uh, That's fine, yeah. Like 15 years. Cool. Um, so we're a full family practice. Um, we offer abortion services, reproductive health services. Um, we see families of all different kinds. Um, we do transgender health care. We have mental health counselors. We do immunizations. We do a lot of yeah. stuff. Yeah. And the one thing that is awesome. uh, nice about Blue Matter Clinic is very, uh, it's very local. And like everybody about Missoula is all about local stuff. And, yes. Um, Blue Matter Clinic is very, very inclusive. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and even though um, we do uh, provide services to a lot of low-income people, we don't get any government funding. So we really get to do um, whatever we want to do. And most of the time that um, means putting our patients first um, and being able to focus on uh, providing excellent patient care. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. So let's talk about this program a little bit. You guys are looking for... Um, teens age um, 13 to 19 to be part of this mm -hmm. youth advisory board. Yep. So let's uh, explain a little more about this. Yeah, so we've had um, sort of an informal sex ed program for many years um, just because we know that that's something that people in the community need for their health care. Um, so, you know, we'll, ha we'll do lessons um, in classrooms with different groups. Um, we'll speak at, uh, you know, different events in the community. Um, but you know, we've been sort of brainstorming about how we can make it really authentic and relevant to young people because that's who we want to serve with our sex ed program. Um, and we felt that a good uh, starting off point would be to form a youth advisory board um, to tell us what they need um, and to represent the young people in their community. Um, so that's kind of the basis of it. Um, and. I don't know anything about technology, so um, having like young people to consult with mm -hmm. um, for social media um, mm -hmm. and outreach, um, and eventually we want to see the participants of the Youth Advisory Board take on a peer advocacy role. Um, not just for sex ed, um, but for other youth health um, sort mm -hmm. of needs as well. So um, how can people so. sign up? We, we have your website. Um, um, can yeah. you kind of talk us through it? It's super easy. So um, <laughs> you'll just go to, <laughs> you'll just go to uh, bluemountainclinic.org and it's um, the third banner down. It says Youth Advisory Board. So you click on oh, that. Okay. Go up a little bit more. Oh. No, third banner down. There, there we it go. Mm -hmm. So you click on that. Um, and then from there, has a little bit of information about what you're getting into. Um, and then under join, you just click on apply online and you can just type the information in right there. And then it sends it directly to my email inbox. Um, and we're accepting these applications till June 24th. Awesome. And yeah. so how many people are you looking for? You know, um, because it's the inaugural group, um, I, I'm hoping if we can get 10 people, that'd be awesome. Um, if it's not 10 people, that would be awesome too. We've already had a few applicants that I'm really excited about, um, but yeah. It's usually about just like getting um, one kid and then inviting their friends to come along. You it's easier to talk absolutely. about this kind of stuff with your friends rather than a bunch yep. of strangers. Mm -hmm. And it's always nice to come yeah. with your posse. And yeah. I'm it's a true. huge proponent of that. I think that you're totally right. That's a great way to start comfortable conversations. Yeah, is yeah. with your friends. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And so what, I guess, where can people like find out more information about like safe sex? Yeah, um, that's a great question. Um, yeah. There's lots of good information on the internet, um, but as you know, there's lots of other stuff on the internet too. Um, one of the uh, jobs that we'll get to work with the Youth Advisory Board is um, kind of doing compiling a list mm -hmm. of all the resources online that we really like. Um, Sexetcetera.org is really good. Scarletteen.org is really good. Um, Planned Parenthood mm -hmm. has lots of awesome resources. Um, 
Advocates for Youth is another one. I could just rattle off a list. Um, okay. But yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get to a point um, where our Youth Advisory Board has their own little section on our website. Um, we'll probably get our own Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, and it'd be cool to get kids who are tech savvy, who are interested in blogging, um, and just like yeah, be able to do start, all this stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Starting online conversations about healthy sexuality. Um, I think you know one important thing, um, and this is more relevant than ever. Um, just with the tragedy in Orlando, um, is talking about um, LGBTQ rights mm -hmm. um, and. Yeah, I think that kids are up for those conversations. You just kind of have to start somewhere with yeah. that. Prompted. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's and like I one think of those questions to ask is like, why do you think people are uncomfortable with this kind of you yeah. Know, mm -hmm. thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. But it's super important, and awareness is really important. And so I'm really glad that you guys are doing this. Cool. Me too. If I was a teen, I would definitely sign up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so <laughs> if you know any teens mm -hmm. um, who you think would be good for it, that's been, I've noticed that's. Uh, how most of our applicants are coming in. Um, they have an adult who recommends them to it. Um, so yeah, uh, cool. yeah. Great. Um, and yeah. really easy to contact us if you just do um, email info at bluemountainclinic.org to get more information. Um, if kids are under the age of 18, we're definitely gonna want some parental consent yeah. um, since we're talking about uh, some big topics and big <laughs> ideas. Um, but I, I feel like anyone who comes out uh, is already mature enough to have a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. So when and where can people get more information? One more time. Um, yeah, bluemountainclinic.org is the best place to go, and it's right there on our, um, our front page. Um, or they can email uh, info, it's just info, at bluemountainclinic.org. Awesome. Thank well, you thanks, Audrey. Thanks, guys. Thanks yeah.